Hello Gators, Mr. Keefe here with another quick little tech tip for you. Today I'm going to be talking about inserting a timer onto your PowerPoint or Keynote slide. Now the purpose of this, how many times have you told the students that you have three minutes to do something, 10 minutes to do something, 20 minutes, whatever it is, and you tell the kids to get started and then you forgot to set the timer. I know I've done that quite a bit. And this process here should help solve that issue, but also it'll help keep your students accountable. In PowerPoint, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure you have your slides open and to the slide that you want to insert your timer. I'm gonna go ahead and use this example slide here, and I'm gonna to wanna to put a 10 minute timer at the bottom to let the students know that they have 10 minutes to complete these three questions. The way to do this is actually pretty simple. First, I'm going to go to YouTube and I'm gonna find a 10 minute timer that I like. I found this one here. My next step is I'm gonna go down to the bottom and click on the share button. I'm gonna click on the copy right here and then go back to PowerPoint. Within PowerPoint, I'm gonna go up to my insert tab and then I'm going to go all the way over to where it says video. So again, you wanna make sure you are clicked in your slide and then go over to video, online movie. And we're gonna go ahead and paste, which is command V, which put the URL and I'm gonna click insert. What this will do, as you see, it put the video directly on the slide. Now I can move it around like any other object in PowerPoint. So I could resize it. I want to move it down here in the bottom corner right after that question, and then I am done. From here, after you show the slide, or as you're showing the slide on your screen, you can then use your cursor, go over to the video, and click play. In Keynote, the process is actually very similar. Make sure you're clicked on your slide, Go to the toolbar, click on media, then go down to where it says web video. Go ahead and paste by using command V and then click on insert. Once you have this in there, it now treats it as it is an object on your screen so that you can move it where you need to move it and you can resize it as well. Well, hopefully that was helpful for you on how to insert the timer onto your PowerPoint or Keynote slide. I know for me, if I was in the classroom, this would be a game changer when it comes to the time frames. But also, I hope that it'll have an impact for you in your classrooms. As always, if you need any help with anything or want to have a good tech chat, please come down to the swamp, send me a chat in Teams, shoot me an email, schedule some time, whatever it is, let's make it happen. But as always, remember, it's great to be a Gator.